Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Banished. We're using the Mega Mod in our co-op series of George. Oh, and we have a merchant. Um, co-op series between Night Ghost 49, Vapa Gaming, and myself. And let's see what kind of trouble we can get into this time. I want to... One of the major focuses of this episode is to get the, uh, uh, the new wood industry area up and going. And I was just noticing our, uh, our little mini hunter over here. We're probably going to have to move him. Not the best place for him anyway. Well, actually it's not too bad because, you know, this forest over here grows trees in almost every square so that there's very little room for anything else. I don't know how many animals roam through there, but he's got a small footprint, so if he were to go right here, he would cover just fine. But we'll deal with that one later. What I want to do right now is clear all of this out. I want to be able to see what's happening. So we're just going to do that. And that's crazy, but that's what we're going to do. <laughs> and I want to start preparing for the evacuation of Pottersville and kind of rebuilding this area a little bit. Um, just got a note from Kralyurg mentioning hardtack and let's see bread apparently used to be at least in colonial charter used to be flour and butter and it's been switched over to bread because I'm thinking something like croissants took up the role of flour and butter but bread is made from flour and hardtack is made from flour but hardtack gives you the most food per flour so it's actually the most food we can get out of this area so it was a good choice, apparently, for, uh, for our labor camp over here. And I'm kind of liking the idea of the labor camp. I just want to redo it a little bit and get some of it out of this, this uh, the death zone over here. How are we still doing over here? Lesson. Lesson is not very happy. Serene is better. Um, let's see. Let's pop over, say, to this house here. We've got Orest. He's doing okay. Parissa, they're doing fine. Uh, let's grab another, let's grab like right there. How are you guys doing? Not too happy. Move over. Happier. So, it's still iffy, their happiness in this area. And I got to looking over at the cemetery we still have a little room for a few more residents so it's not like people are dying and, and nowhere to go and that's what's really making them sad so there are other reasons involved and I'm thinking it has something to do with this so what I want to do is to uh, get this area up and running more fish rice farms all that sort of thing and a lot more housing temporary digs for these guys to, to be moved out and a little more of a, of a real uh, uh, market area for them. And a few other amenities for them. A school and a church and, and what have you out in this area. To make this a little more pleasant. And the, if I'm correct, let me verify that. The cemetery gives a lot of happiness. And there are a lot of deaths to miners and stonecutters. Kind of makes sense to me that there is a cemetery out in here somewhere. And it would act as a bit of a buffer zone. So... I think that's going to go into here. But for now, let's see, where, where, there we go. Beth the Stonecutter was crushed by a rock. Beth now lives over here. So, anyway, we're going to clear that out. And while I'm waiting for that to happen, uh, that's right, we had a merchant, didn't we? Had a merchant come in. Let's see what's happening over here. Trade brought us, Damar the Hauler brought us some goods. I'm not thinking there's much that we really need right now. Though, let me think here. When did I last check things like sand and clay? We're going to definitely get all that fixed here pretty soon. But sand and clay. So clay is at 76. We do need clay to kind of get that, give that industry a boost. Sand, 7. All right, we do need sand and clay. I saw sand there. Is there any clay? I'm not seeing it. Okay, let's get the 2,000 sand, and we'll call that one good. 
So, 2,000 is... We're actually starting to eat through our survival coats. Finally. But let's go ahead and... We do have some. I think the magic combination was 133. And... Don't have any ones in here right now. So we're going to say two bone meal. That's overpaying by one. That's good. So trade you. And it... But the trade work this time. Dismiss. And are we good on traders? Where am I? So you're being built. You're being built. You're leaving. Alright, you're being taken out. Yeah, we're good there. Um, Vapa, when he was doing his episodes, was thinking about what to put in here. There's a building that I like to put in these spaces of my maps. At least I did in Ramblington, and it worked out really well around one of the uh, markets. And that was the... Where am I at here? There. Artisans. Statue carvers. And we've got jade. i got to verify that, whether we actually have jade marble being made. But that's a building that's kind of like the Butcher. In fact, wow. I didn't realize how much like the Butcher it was. Yep, that's a kind of a carbon copy there. <laughs> but what if we were to kind of duplicate what Vapor was doing by putting these guys in here, and we'll get jade and marble and, oh, I don't know, stone. We get four different uh, carvers going on in here. So let's get that going. Let's. I guess I do need to pop these over here because we're going to need an employee for each, or a worker. I call them employees, but... Um, so that will give us some symmetry over here. And it'll also get us some jade and marble and stone and wood, or what have you, statues, to be dumping into the traders over here. And speaking of traders, zoom over here. We do need to think about our... That's over... Oh, it's right there. Our um, storage in this area. We got all this taken care of. We still need dry goods to be stored somewhere. We have food storage over here. And it's got a little bit of room left. So we need to worry about uh, dry goods storage over here. Which is probably right there. Isn't it? I think it is. This is going to go somewhere else. It's probably time to make him go away. So, right, let's get rid of the employee first. There we go. So you, go away. And dry goods will go... That is the, the right uh, title, right? Meat locker. Okay, did I pass it over and over again? Dry goods, yeah. So that guy, I think, would look pretty good right in this area. In line with these guys. Might even need a second one. Not sure if, if one is going to be enough. Um, feathers. There's going to be a lot of different things that we're going to be pulling out of these and storing temporarily till it's brought into the uh, the rest of town. Drawbridge is done up there. Um, storage over here is an issue too. Again, dry goods for feathers and reeds are a dry good. I'm assuming feathers are a dry good, but I know reeds are. And there's lots of them here. Uh, fire bundles. We're going to need fuel. A lot of meat in the area, so a meat locker would be good. And this guy is is always sitting at max, so we need to rethink that. So we've got, I believe, close to 5,000 furnace fuel in stock right now. 49.84. So let's. I'm curious. Will? Yeah, we're still really choppy. Okay, we won't do that. So this guy can actually go away. We have plenty of furnace fuel to last us for probably all the way until it comes back this game comes back to me again so we're going to get rid of him and come back and redo the storage in this area where's our nearest regular storage here and there and there's enough room let's make that go away as well and we'll actually let's get rid of the road too all right everything here clears out we get a brand new footprint all right, so that's got to be done. This is going to be cleared out, and that'll be done. Uh, good road heading that direction, though. I don't think we need a double road heading that way. Double roads, to me, is more like the main road. 
whereas these other ones are just little tributaries off the main road to go and do the little things, but it's the main road that counts. So I'm going to single, singlefy that one. There we go. All right, so drawbridge completed. We are clearing this out. Good. This is the drawbridge. That gets us from here to there. And I want to get over to here as well. So we're going to put in two of the dense foresters. What I call the dense foresters is actually got a different name. Renewable resources. Oh, dense tree shack. Okay. The dense tree shack Yeah. Is up is over here. And I want to put another one right there. But I also want to put in a hardwood forester over here. And I want to deal with the hardwood over in this area. So I'm thinking about a bridge across here. I don't want to shoot right through the middle of the lake. I think it'd look funny, but if it was a little bit higher and a little bit smaller, that would be functional. Though I want, if Bafa does decide to try to punch through up in here, I want it to look like, you know, I don't want a great big ship to be pushing through docks. So running a dock bridge or docks across here doesn't seem like the right solution. So what I thought about was that drawbridge. What if we put in a drawbridge from like there to there? Now can I go a little bit lower? Something like that. Let's drawbridge that one. Wood storage went in, good. And you are what? Medieval Clay Pit. Oh, let's go look at that one. That's from last episode. So that we can put a house and and uh, a re uh, we got a material warehouse over here because hardwood is material. And the hardwood forester, which is a smaller footprint. That'll work fine over there. And just make that a little self-sustained. And then across over here, we'll put another furniture joiner in. And that will make the fancy furniture which we'll use for, for fancy uh, homewares, I believe, and also uh, um, a good sales or a good trade item. So let's get over here first. So this is our clay pit. I've never built one of these. Wow, it goes deep in there. That's got a really nice look to it. Look at that. They're clear down there working. I'm impressed. And that one is a red ketchup mod, I believe. So good job with that one. Yeah, just kind of a work camp in here. Neat. And no options, so I cannot get sand out of this. That's one thing I was waiting to find out. Got a merchant waiting somewhere. Got a new uh, trader that just came in. Got a statue covers, carver starting to pop. Lots going on. And I'm only on one speed and it's still going faster than me. So let's go with uh, shore houses over here real quick. Um, yeah, right there. So clay out of there. That doesn't look right. There we go. And I'll leave, I'll leave one space. And up as high as I can get so that I can stay even with it over here. Can I get one more? Not really. So two there. Let's put in a couple more over here. So that one ended right there. Right there. I want to leave some trees around that clay pit if I can. Alright, so there's four of these guys. Um, move you off to the side. Four of these. There you are. And that's going to boost probably three of them for sand, one for clay, and, and the pit for clay. That should give us uh, what we need over there. So you're done. Now, clay pit goes right over the top of whatever that symbol is. And there's 17 of them. I'm thinking this has to do with stone cutters. Are there 17 stone cutters? Stone cutter 17. All right, so let's let's take it down to two, so we can compare the output 
to a shore house. We'll see if it's worth it or not. It's a bigger footprint. It will give us a different look, but I want to see how it compares to two people working in a clay uh, shore house. So 17s, what do we got here? 17 of 19. So we'll go ahead and hire two more. Still have 68 laborers. And where's the music in our game? It's really quiet right now. Just hearing background sounds. Clay pit is done. Nothing else here is done. Let's pop over here real quick. Uh, take you down to two and put two back in. 67 laborers still. I think in our schools are, are really cranking them out right now. Because we've gained an awful lot here real quick. So back over here, that is this one. This is the new food one since we took this one out. And the boats are still coming in over here. That's a shame. Now we could try to build something in here. Rex Elsier suggested we put docks in here in the attempt to persuade the boats to go around and not go through an obstacle. Um, in my Noble Landing map, I had built regular docks and experimented with a trader and the trade and the merchant did go right through them to get to that trader. So they're not necessarily obstacles. But maybe some other building would look good here, like the shore houses we were putting in. They won't build on that, but maybe there's something we can put in here. I might experiment with that off camera and try it and make sure it doesn't break our trade routes by all of a sudden not letting it go where it was wanting to go. But if that does it, then we might come up with something that, that looks correct. I mean, it, what I could do off camera is just run dock houses all the way through this area. And that might be our test. But if it goes right through the dock houses, then we'll know that's not going to work. Anyway, that's what's happened over there. So food over here. And... What do we put into it? Let's put something similar to what we're doing in the other ones. Now, we're going to be needing food less and less. Though, boy, we're needing it already here, 26,000. Okay, so I see I've got to get working on food probably sooner than I had planned. Um, nothing there. Okay, well, let's get inventory. Let's get these guys normalized. What are we using? And while I'm at it, let's go ahead and throw this guy into the mix and just see what's mostly available. Maybe the another route to go here. Let's set you... No, I'll keep you just like... The order we have here is the order I should see it come out of here. So that might be the easiest way to do it. I'll just scan through here what looks like it's got some value that we still have a good quantity of. Bone meal, we've got gobs. So let's get some bone meal into here. Where is my food? I'm going to reverse this. My food is on my right over there, so that's where I'm going to be looking each time. Bone meal, this one we're going to put 100 in. We will use it in the greenhouses to make other things, so that's not a waste. I don't want to you know, burn it all, but building supplies, we have lots, and that is definitely a uh, something that we could be making some, you know, some trade value out of. So let's put 20 of those in. No, let's put 10 of those in. I don't want to get into the habit of burning through all those 20 at a time until we have none left. Oh, let's see. Carbon steel tools, we have 54. So we've made 54. It means we've still got well over 400 of the other ones in town. I wonder if they do grab the best quality one first. Well, depending on where they go, the best, they'll grab the best quality one of the, that is stored in that particular barn, maybe. And maybe that's how it works. Uh, let's glance through here real quick. Copper ore, clay. Domesticated animals, we still have 41 of those. Let's toss 10 of those in. <clears throat> so I guess I really don't need this. So we're not going to necessarily duplicate the other ones. Domesticated animals, let's grab 10 of those. I want to always have a few in there. Yeah, that's for decorating purposes for, for Vapa, right? Let me think here. No, that only makes the... The uh, animal pens. I don't think that does the decorative animals. Okay. So what else is in here that's got some value to it? 1,200 feathers. We're getting back to good on feathers again. Uh, fire bundles. Furnace fuel we could honestly sell a little bit of, but I don't think it's worth that much. I don't think it's worth bankrupting us of furnace fuel for the, for the value. I think that was like 6 or 8. 
Doesn't seem like it was that much. Glass, we do have lots of glass. I'd rather use the glass. But we could get the glass turned off and switch it over to glassware. Ooh, that's an idea. We don't have that running. Okay, we'll keep that. Um, let's see here. Hide coats we have lots of. And we don't want our citizens wearing those. So let's get rid of those. So hide coats. And that's right, we need to get rid of the rest of this flax before we go over to version 5 of the Mega Mod. So let's make sure that happens. 2,000 flax. You just need to go away. Um, let's see here. And there's the other flax right there. Ah. I don't know which is which. I'm assuming this is the bad flax. It's got the other symbol. But I'm not sure. So let's sell all of it. Some of it the gatherers are gathering. Others of it... I don't know where the others came from because we've never grown it. So maybe the gatherers are now gathering a different flax. So which one, or, every one of these does not replenish, we'll know was the one we needed to get rid of. Okay, we'll use that reasoning. So flax need to get rid of, need to get rid of iron tools if those still exist. And I'll go back to that one I didn't do. Iron tools, those still sell. So let's get those in here and get rid of those out of, out of our economy. We'll do 200 of those in case any others accidentally show up, like rebuilding a, a blacksmith and it defaults to iron tools or something. All right, we were looking at what over here? I knew if I didn't do it. Hide coats. Let's get rid of all the hide coats right now. Uh, H. That comes after G, right? Hide coats. We've got... Let's put 500 in there. Make sure all those go away. So what else do we want to get rid of, get out of our town? We have 192 jade. That's good to see. And 152 marble. So, well, I'll wait on that. That's That can wait. Let's not go too many directions, too many rabbit trails all at once. Oh, let's see. What else can we trade for food so we can do another 15,000 food purchase like last time? Lamp oil is looking pretty good. What were the candles doing? You're here. 500 candles. Okay, that's good to know. Um, I don't think we'll put candle... Uh, no, I'm not going to. I don't remember. I, I'm assuming candles are used to upgrade the, uh, the precious mines. We have a lot of those. I might be wrong, but if that is the case, I don't want to lose our 500 candles. So I was at Lamp Oil. Up to 136 leather. That's good to see. So our peacoats have a chance now. Good. Logs, maple sap. I did have ma maple trees going for a while. Do we really get that much maple sap from... Or are we getting that out of the gatherers as well? That may be possible. That might be a thing. I haven't never, I've never checked that. Our 2,000 milk is down to about 900. All right, so what else here is worth something that we want to dump in? Pea coats are basically non-existent. <clears throat> Reeds clear down to 3,800 already. Whoa. Okay, a couple more reed farms need to go in. We are actually using them up. And or fire bundles are right where we want them to be. Uh, so this is a good little reevaluation of the town right now. See where we are. Stone's looking good. No strawberries. No, we're making raspberries. Raspberries, 1800. Okay. Got plenty of fruits in town right now. Tallow is actually running out. Vegetable oil, zero. Huh. Okay. Walnut. That means that olives are zero. We ran out of olives. Okay. Well, blubber, we have lots. So, wool coats were basically out. Huh. Now, I, I went right past furniture. I just realized I didn't see it. Furniture, 458. All right. For the sake of food, let's get furniture in here. Uh, right. Where are you? I saw lumber. F's up here. Furniture. We'll do 100 of those. We'll do 200 of those. That's a lot, but it might be important here in a little while. 
And I would put pa fancy furniture in, but uh, it's not an option yet. So otherwise... I guess let's go ahead and put in 500 glass in case it absolutely has to be done. I can pull that back out later. I don't want to touch jade and marble. The jade and marble statues, that's going to be what really buys us our food. Alright, we'll get working on that. So, we're good here. We're good here. This is a little further walk. I'm going to go ahead and up that to four. That makes sense. These guys don't really need it. They really don't. Let's do two in each of those. Two. Two. And two. They're so close to town, they're on a fast road. It's not really necessary. So those are traders. Trader, we need 12. And how many do we have in this one? Two in there. Okay. Food is the important one. Yeah, we get food out of here too, though. All right, let's go four on that one as well. All right, so we're back to near the 15 we started with. All right, so with that, let's see what these guys have brought us. Silk flax. So this flax is in the game, so that must be the good flax. So maybe the other one that's going to go away. Uh, silver fen eggs are only worth one? Really? Okay. Let's do that. Let's just grab those. In case we do put in something that requires silver fenix and we haven't got the ability to make them yet. Actually, we do. We just need to turn on the mints, huh? the melting houses. Archaeological artifact, military supplies. Another merchant just showed up. These guys are going to leave here soon if I don't get done with this. Uh, we were looking for clay. You are the dry goods trader. Oh, dry goods. That's right. Have you got feathers? You don't have feathers. Cloth. <clears throat> Pearls. Okay, we'll stop there. 100. What makes 100? Five of these make 100. Trade. Dismiss. You. Chickens, ducks, pigs. Dismiss. All right. And you. <laughs> seeds. And not many. Now, I'm pretty sure we have tobacco seeds by now. If we don't... <laughs> I'd be amazed that Martha didn't have a, have a fit there. Uh... I am not seeing them. Tobacco, right there. One of us is going to start doing something with those. Okay, tobacco leaf and tobacco seed. There's two different names there. That's interesting. So, Crawl, if you notice, if you happen to watch this episode, is that an issue? Or is, is this the same item that is has been written with two different names? Or do we have two different tobacco seeds in the game now that's got to be normalized? So there's something to keep an eye on. These are the little bugs that are working out of the mod, the Mega Mod. Brussels sprouts, plum seeds. I do want to get back to collecting all the different trees for Vapa so we can decorate with them. <clears throat> I think a plum tree is kind of a reddish leafed tree, which he would probably like. Plums. I didn't see it in there. So let's do plums, and I'm not going to touch this tobacco seed until I know that, that it's, it's not a different one. So 3,500 out of this. Can that be done? We'll get rid of the flax that is here. <clears throat> get rid of the iron tools that are here. And that's all there is. Okay. Well, that answered that question. We're not going to be buying plum seeds. All right. So that is everybody. No other traders rolling in to check out their path. Okay. Statue carvers. Let's get the ones that are closest to the industry area to be the jade and marble. So jade. 
four. You are marble. Marble jade. You are. I guess we only have the four. Okay, so your stone and your wood. And that is dry goods storage, but it'll also drop into here. I'm reasonably certain. If feathers are in here, then it will. <clears throat> well, gem, go, gemstones are in that, yes. Okay, so they will drop into there. All right, so that's done. Shore houses and drawbridge. Did these get cleared out? They did. Let's work right here real quick. In fact, this one too. Uh, this one too. Dry goods. Storage. Storage. There we are. Right there. So you look like this. One will be enough for now. And off a little bit. In case. Now yeah, we'll go one more. Just in case something else needs to go right there. Don't know what, but. Alright, so that one's there, and I don't need to see that build. So over here, we want dry goods, we want fuel, we want food, and it seems like there was something else meat. So look at our ducks. They're. they're overflowing their pens <laughs> okay how best to do this meat locker looks like this that should probably be out over here why did we choose to leave why did I choose to leave that space I don't know I really thought I built it so it was up against the, the road. Huh. Could have got a little more room out of that, huh? That's too bad. Anyway, the road here did a little funky thing. Just looking at how things are going to line up and where this goes. Meat locker. They can walk through these fences in any way. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. So let's grab a road just for the sake of making it look good. You. Like that. That's the entrance to that. I can't do anything there. There's another entrance over here. And there's one over here too. Huh. I'm going to do that. Just as a reminder, that's the entrance to the different uh, the, the, the different places to get into there. So with that as a road, let's mark it our meat storage. I lost you here. Like that. Okay, I guess I'm there. So meat comes in, comes down the pathway, drops into there. Dry goods are coming out of here. And really, most of them are coming out of there. And we have some chickens over here. But I really don't want to get into any more of the forest area, right? Well, I could. Now, this is the area for storage, so we'll do it over here. Um, what I'm thinking is that that'll come from this direction rather than from up there. So let's run that road like so. That makes sense. And actually it makes sense that this goes in stone right now. So stone actually does this and that. Oops, that moved. Kill that while it's free. Okay, put that one back in. Stone. So that does that. So let's get dry goods where? Dry goods, you're this one. He's a good sized building. He's got to go out here somewhere. And 
then we need fuel, which could go in there. Let's do the fuel first. I want to make sure that that fits. I don't need to move this guy over. Fuel is for the fire bundles, which comes off of this dock right here for the most part. So can fuel sneak in right there? Oh, so close. Nope, it can't. This guy's got to move. Okay, let's get fuel in there first. Fuel's going to have to go right there. Meat will go into this space here, like that. Dry goods can do this, but what's left would be probably another general barn of some kind. How do we get both of them in this space and, and have them look good? That's not enough room behind it. So I think we're going to have to go in this direction. Okay, we'll do that. And possibly road off this way to get a barn over here. So what if we went... Well, what else is there? You have this kind of a barn to go in. Um, there's a dead cell in there. What is that? Can't do that. Can I delete it? No, it's not a road thing. We've got a dead cell on our map. Darn. Cancel. Remove all resources. Cannot flatten around it. And... Don't know what else to do. Nope, he's just out of there. Okay, um... What was I doing? I was trying to find a barn that's going to do us some good over here. Let's go into the medieval barns. Just look at footprints. Okay, that one's too big. This is our next size. We could do something like that. Doesn't give any room to walk around it, though. This will give us room to walk around. If we did a couple of these. That's probably what was in there, huh? Well, we did that... Not get anything else in there. Uh, which direction did I put that in? <laughs> it's going to look funny to have them both going uh, opposite directions. Let's do that again. Unless there's another way to do it. I mean, the traditional barn is what I really wanted. That's not going to fit now that I've got that dead cell in there. Even if I raise the land over here a little bit. So there's no way to get him in. Don't really want to go... That's what was in there. That looks familiar. So let's go ahead and go to Red Ketchups. Barn C, I think it was called. Yeah. And that puts the... The little shed roof over there, off onto that side. Alright, we'll do that, and we'll do another one right behind them. So, you can always go through the barn and, and get what you need. Alright, so that area is done storage-wise. We'll let that build, and nothing here required workers, right? Fuel storage. Now, am I missing anything? I don't think there's any need for... Let's see, what do... Survival coats are dry goods, I believe. So there's no need for a material warehouse out here, right? Nope, I don't think so. Merchant, merchant. So, I think we're down over here. Merchants are... Food. 35,000. 34. So we have jumped back up on our own for the most part. Um, 
I'm not even going to get over to my wood area. Darn it. Has it really been that long already? Boy, this game. I might just run this episode a little bit longer than, than even my longer ones. I want to get something done. And if it doesn't feel like I'm doing anything, we're just playing, uh, playing with traders this time. Um, all right, let's use this opportunity to get rid of 39 tools, 294 hide coats, all of the flax that's here so far. That's all we get. That and bone meal. And I won't spend the bone meal if I don't need to. Alright, that's all that's been brought over so far. Okay, so that gets us 9100. Let's do that. Wheat we are using. Milk, always. So especially when you get the ones that we can convert into something else. Blueberries, yes. Sugar cane. I don't think... Does that count as a food? It might. I mean, it's, it's definitely something that you can make other things out of, like sugar or fire bundles, but I'm curious if that actually is edible as well. It might be. That's probably why it's in this list. I know tulips are, believe it or not, so that must be as well. Grapefruit? Sure. Let's get a, another source of fruit in town. <clears throat> 10,000. So... Um, Wheat will take back down to 1102. Is that what I'm thinking? That did it, yeah. So trade you and dismiss. You're done. Over here, we've got shore houses in. Um, <clears throat> trade, that's what I want. I want feathers. No, this is the industry. Wood is through the roof because we cut the whole area down, which is probably growing back if I don't get back over there. Uh, coal, we're fine. Tin, we're going to make our own roof tiles now. Furnace fuel is only worth three. Yeah, it's not really worth selling. We'll just stockpile that. Charcoal, yeah, we're good. Dismiss you. Okay, let's head over here real fast, get these guys up and running. Oh, it's only one. Well, we'll get you going anyway. Let's do sand for the first three. We'll get more clay coming from there. And that'll be clay over there, maybe. So let's get two people working this one. Like that. And sand. So you're done. Okay. So are we done over in these other areas? Yeah, we got that one going. And we're done over here. So let's get back into this area. We've got this cleared out. So I want to... Let's see, do we have a full year here? We're at winter. We probably do not yet. No, we never really got a good solid year going on there. So far, though, 300 from two workers on that one. And 361 from two workers on this one. I suspect that this is going to be the best firewood source. So we can switch him back to lumber. That's my guess. So I want to put in a second firewood right in this area. Really, you're going to do that to me, huh? All right, let's fix that square. Where am I? That one. And I don't know which one it was. Let's do a little square over there. Hopefully one of those was the correct one. So right there, thinking would uh, really? Yep, you're gonna do that. I think when I move one, it changes the shape of other ones. So I'm gonna have to do kind of that whole oh that little mark right there. Let's go around it, see if that does it. So back to this. Let's do an area like that. There can be no way that that doesn't work now. That one, and there, all right. So I'm thinking the two diagonal fences next to each other would look pretty good. And they're both near the road, so easy access. And I want a fuel storage in this area. In fact, this area may just be a storage area. We've got, uh, if this is lumber, then we need material storage. We'll need log storage 
to get rid of this so I can start building buildings here. And we'll need fuel storage coming out of these guys. So let's set up some... What just happened here? Farmer died of old age. Storage, warehouses. Here's the big one. And then we've got two smaller ones to go around it. So how best to make this work and look good? Let's see the little ones first. Let's see... Uh, fuel. He does fit there. But that's our pathway through. Um, if we don't necessarily pack them all together, I can do that. And still leave a walkway in there. We'll do that. That's fuel. I don't need to see that footprint. I do need to see this one, though. Drawbridge is almost in. Good. And logs, probably closer up into here. His range is there. Let's try to stay out of his footprint if we can. So, logs, let's do what? I'm over here. Is one going to be enough? Actually, yes, one will be enough. Should be no problem there. As fast as they're cutting them, we're going to have so much industry over here, we're going to be probably even hurting for them. That's why i got to go up here with the second one. So, yeah, one will be enough. That was storage. Don't need to see that one. All right. So, just need the material storage for this guy. And furniture. And what else is going in here? I'm going to put some coopers in here, so... It's quite possible that barrels and bins and crates are going to be material as well. So probably a little more centralized, maybe right in this area. So this guy... Yeah, we'll do that. And road across the front of it. And we'll go back in with real roads one of these days, but I don't want to overcommit my stone until I really know what's going on in the industry area. So there's storage for this area. We're going to need lots of the shore house. I'll make you all sand for now until I know what's going on. I don't know which one that one was. Um, we're going we're gonna to need lots of housing out here. Just debating. I want to get this going. I also want to get more food. Well, we don't have any, any rice yet, so really can't get more rice farms going. Okay. I want to get rice farms over there. I do want to do something over here, though. Let's get this going. There's a, a source of food for us. I'm going to move this guy further out. I'm thinking fish, fish, fish. And the point in the middle will be storage and housing for the three fisheries. And then as we go in, there'll be housing, more housing and uh, rice farms as well as school and church and some kind of a little uh, uh, market in this area. That'll give a, another good shot in the arm of food and food, and it'll tie into the industry area over here, and maybe be some temporary housing while I eliminate some of these houses and, and move them and kind of redo them. So let's get this going. Uh, your circle is there. kind of want to get a sense for size. And this is something that can be building while we're laying out the other area. So, fish was here. Just debating how best to do this. Rice farms take a lot of space. I think we're something like that. So let's dock from there all the way across to over here. Where'd you go? Okay. It's three wide, so there's the middle. Playing the, the chase the pixel game across the map here. that's actually going to end. I'll stop there. We've got enough to give me a line of sight. So, kind of. Oh, I can actually see something there. Nope, just a mirage. That's the dock fishery, right there. So, that gives me... 
That's the last one. Okay. So dock fishery. As soon as I click that, that's going to go away. Oh, I can see it this way. Good. So, if I can track that guy without losing it, that's a big if. Now, I'm not going to get as... as actually, it's not going to go out as wide as I wanted to. Maybe I'll stagger them. Maybe that's the solution to this. I'm not going to get a perfect T. That would be better. Let's just do that then. I'll set a dock. Actually, this would be a great place for a dock bridge to go across the entire lake, wouldn't it? But that's going to be, disrupt this too much. So... Yep, yeah, these guys are... are... scuba diving. Okay, anyway. In that case, this guy over here is there. Alright, we'll stop there. Let's go till we intersect these guys. Then we'll have to adjust. That's a trading post, okay. Uh, <clears throat> there. Oh, we just found one. Okay. Zoom in here a little bit. You're there. So, how best to see that? Let's do, like... Now, where's a good-sized building? I want here. There we go. Alright, so it's only one that's... Well, I guess I'll let them build. That's not going to be that easy to, to track. So we're coming through here. I think we hit it. Okay. So we're there. We're there. Let's let these build, then we'll come back to this area. Alright, back over here. So, if we can get the wood storage built, we can get rid of these. Let's put a priority on that one. I should have done that before. Now, we want furnace fuel in this area. And I want housing over here. So let's get furnace fuel over on this side. Right there. Fuel refinery. That's going to take firewood. So he's going to need access to the fuel warehouse over there. Which means a fuel cart can be stacked over here. That will work. And we'll go as high up as we can. Yeah, I think so. Did we ever get a little house over here? No, that's right. Maybe we'll put these in to try to help that along. Okay. So that is off the list. I've got uh, a big pile of things I want to get into here. So that is the fuel refinery. We will need to see that. Who are you? I just I just set you up there. Okay. Um, there was a trader. Am I really going to need to... Okay, we are still tracking through here. You are farm supplier... I'm going to say no. i got to concentrate on what I'm doing. So we're going to say no to you. Okay. I'm pretty sure that you're going to end up being lumber. So I'm not going to deal with the second sawmill at the moment. Fuel refinery. Which will make... We'll need a material warehouse. Which is going to be over there. Okay. Looking at my list here, we're going to need two joiners and two coopers out here. Shore houses are in. We will put in two people and two people. And we'll go ahead and make one of them clay. All the other ones will be sand. And we'll just see what they do on their own. Okay. You, I do want to know when you come in. Because then I can delete these guys. So, how best to set up coopers and joiners.
Really, I need these out of here. I do need those out of there. Okay. So, let's... I guess we just gotta wait for that to get done. So, this guy out in front, I need to see that happen. Alright, what can we be doing over here? This is going in. Is anybody stranded? I haven't seen anybody stranded on any of the docks <clears throat> since Mega Mod version 2. Version 1? Maybe it was version 1. Otherwise, they haven't been stranded anymore. So I am guessing that uh, that Crawler did a little tweaking. Because they're working great now. You need to go away. Which, though it didn't last episode, you should just instantly fall apart. So go away. So, themes, docks, single. Well, it looks funny. That's not the right thing. There we go. That did look funny. Okay, glad that uh, glad I didn't do that. All right, so let's mark this and this. Look up here. Okay, so we need to get. Well, first of all, we need you to go away. Are these done? They're right there. Let's do that instead. Okay, these are building. So we won't take this out just yet. But I want to get two storage and... Oh, let's think here. How many houses? Four. Six. At least six houses in here. These guys are going to have the furthest to walk. We could do another house right over here. Let's work on that pathway. Let's get that third fisherman in. So, where are we? There, there, fish. Or do I just deal with two? Let's just deal with two. We're doing a lot of walking. We can do something else from this direction. We'll just do that right now. Okay, you guys are not finished yet. What are we doing here for... Even more labor is available. All right, let's kick our builders up. I didn't realize. Yeah, let's do something like that. Okay. Storage. Let's just get these guys in. Large dock storage. That's the door. Nope, I can't. I. Or wait a minute. I was off by one. I can. All right. Okay, you do go in. Up here, wood storage is in. That's good. Well, lots of storage here. Okay, these guys are done. Let's pop over here real quick. Drawbridge is in. Woodcutter is in. Okay, things are popping over there. Good. So that is in. Let's get rid of all of the storage, or the stockpiles. That's got to get done. Um, we know we're going to want lots of firewood, but... How are we doing here? <clears throat> we're maxed there. Oh, darn it, we're maxed. So there goes my test. Well, I'll tell you what. They got the same run up to this point with the same number of workers. We made, Well, we made 28. Okay, not a great test. And 16 for this season. <clears throat> okay. That's not the best test. I think I'm just going to go with the assumption that this is going to be lumber from logs. And we don't need that much, so I'm going to take you down to one. These guys are going to be firewood. And where are you? For now, we'll go ahead and get four of them in. So are we happy now? Yeah. That's all the same profession. Okay. <clears throat> I'm starting to lose my voice again. These guys are in. Drawbridge is in. Which means I want to get the hardwood forester in. And I'll be winding up this episode here pretty quick. Uh, there. Hardwood forester. Okay. You get this whole area here. We'll deal with that next time. How's this look? Yep, that'll do. 
And I want to get the dense tree shack in. Oh, he's little. Well, we'll go ahead and do that. I can't tell where the uh, arrows are. There are no arrows. Okay, so anywhere you want it to be. Okay. So we'll take him... Actually, I'll take him a little bit further off because you can see it kind of outgrows its border. <clears throat> so if I sit over here, it'll outgrow into these other areas. And I lost him. There he is. We'll see that next time. Wood storage, you're done. And I think my voice is done. It is definitely going away. So we're going to call this episode done. Didn't get as much done as I wanted to, unfortunately. Food is at 30,000, so we're kind of holding stable. Out of curiosity, how bad is food? Because we did buy an awful lot. Production, 54 and 44. Yep, that's hurting. So food has got to be a major... Uh, issue next episode so let's call this one done <clears throat> while i can still talk a little bit let's hit pause there anyway this has been noble rambler thank you guys for watching and be sure to check out the other guy's channel and i'll catch you next time Bye bye